two years ago I talked about ICE because they were the first manufacturer they started in 2012 to have connected cars, uh, connected uh, machines. They now have 7,000 in the market. They don't have a robot yet, that's coming next time, but they've learned something. And the most interesting thing to learn that everybody thinks that these kinds of machines work two hours a day. That's also what the battery does. They turned out it only does 20 minutes a day. And 20 minutes a day is way less than the people think themselves. Vermop is nominated for the Innovation Award. What do they have? They have a cleaning car. But this cleaning car is part of a bigger system. First, we have a Google-like 3D scanner which runs around and basically tells you the map of the, uh, of the building. And then, based on the backup system, the, uh, the, skill, the cleaner gets instructions where to go and how to do it. And everything is censored. Even this one, when I do this, when I put it in or out, it is basically tracked and traced. So, you have an enormous amount of efficiency. You know exactly where everybody is because also there's an internal navigation system that you know where this car is. It's sold as a concept. We don't know the prices yet, how much it adds to it, but it's supposed to be much cheaper and it gives you unlimited amount of control of people. So, is this a good thing or is this a horrible thing? FEMAP is clearly a very innovative company because everybody is here looking at the new machine which has lost weight, is connected and much smarter and efficient. Nominated Orbot from San Diego and first they make from water, they make ozone. You know, have nice electronics and the kill factor of all kinds of germs goes up quite a bit. But that's not really what's so interesting. They have these kinds of machines to clean the floor but then they make them autonomous. And that's really here, they have lithium ion batteries and it's a vacuum cleaner, it, uh, it is in a mixer, it does ozone and um, you know, it, it basically, you don't need a power cord and that saves 50% of labor. It's a pain in the butt to have that thing. So it costs a little bit more money, so instead of a 3,000 machine it becomes 4,500 or 5,000 or 6,000, depends on the complexity. And they, um, they are 45 people in the company and they have thousands of machines out there but this is their real innovation.